Muhlenberg men's basketball team is doing some amazing stuff on the court for training. So every Friday this season, the Muhlenberg men's basketball team gets a little unconventional with their training methods. Usually they're working on their free throws in passing, but now instead they're training their eyes through a partnership with Good Shepherd. The mules are taking their game to the next level. It's called vision training and it's the new wave of the future in athletics. This training can lead to improvements in visual awareness, reaction time, hand-eye coordination, just to name a few of its many benefits. NBA players such as Steph Curry do this on a daily basis. And now Muhlenberg has adopted this unique form of training thanks to their friends at Good Shepherd. What today's all about is how to enhance peak uh, and get to peak uh, athletic performance. Uh, everybody exercises, their legs, their arms, cardiovascular training, strength training, fitness training, but not too many will exercise the eyes. Um, so what we're all about is how to enhance the ability of the eyes, improve one's vision. If we can improve one's vision, we're going to improve their dynamic visual acuity. Uh, going to be able to improve their sense of the court so they can see who's on their side, um, their ability to shoot um, in real time. Um, it's, that's what it's all about. It started with Michael Jordan with the, with the, uh, with the sports goggles. Um, but it's all, again, about how can we enhance someone's vision. If we enhance their vision, it's going to lead to uh, sports performance improvement. Obviously, vision training is something that, uh, when you relate it to athletics, I think the sport of baseball is, is pretty far ahead of everybody else in terms of significant data and what difference it might make in that sport. So I think there's a lot of exploratory uh, work going on. How much can it affect the sport of basketball? At the same time, I think, uh, from a science and medicine standpoint, could there be other benefits like concussion prevention and things like that in training the muscles of the eye? So this was an opportunity through a couple of relationships for us to be part of a pilot program, uh, again, a win win can it can it make a difference in long term with some of our athletes can it help in recruiting that we're a part of it and on the good shepherd side of it they get a chance to get some significant data maybe in a different sport that hasn't advanced as far yet in vision training so it's a chance to kind of take a look at that as well i mean it's just awesome we love doing this we love doing it you know to, it's unfortunate we only go once a week we kind of like doing it if we could do it two three times a week we'd be you know you could probably see a lot more results i mean i know guys like steph curry quiet leonard you know, great NBA All-Stars, they get to do it, and it's just a privilege, and we're honored that we can actually be part of the study. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are tricky. You know, you got the prisms, and then you got the things that flash. You know, it's it's hard, but I mean, those with the NBA guys, they have to play with. You know, when they're shooting free throws, they have the lights flashing up and all these things surrounding them. So, I mean, those guys got to do it every single day without, like, any dis with all the distractions. Sorry, but I mean, we have to do it with an empty empty gym, and it's, it's, it's really hard. As you've seen here today, they, they do have some enthusiasm and uh, they've enjoyed to get to do some things that are a little bit different, especially this time of year when the season has gone on for three, four months. It's fun for them to get in the gym and do some things that are unique. Uh, so they've really looked forward to it and they brought a lot of enthusiasm to it. Uh, that's the whole idea, that they work hard, we're testing, we're, we're, we're engaging their eyes, engaging their vision, but they have a lot of fun too. Now credit to these basketball players for even being able to make a basket with those glasses on. I tried them on. It's like a strobe light in your eyes. It's kind of crazy. I, I don't know <laughs> how they do it, but it's going to have amazing results. They got tested earlier in the season, and then they're going to get tested at the end of the season to kind of log that data. We got some good uh, college basketball, a lot of high school basketball coming up this week, but uh, yep. fun story here. The Muhlenberg men have been doing more than just working on offense and defense during practice this season. The Mules are participating in a program to increase their focus and balance. Dave Lesko has more from West Allentown. Every Friday since the beginning of the year, the Muhlenberg men have been working with Good Shepherd Rehabilitation wearing strobe and prism goggles to increase their focus and balance. What we noticed in the beginning was their depth perception and their balance wasn't all up to par as it should be. What we've done is we've taken strict balance exercises, condensed depth perception, working on convergence and divergence, getting them to focus a little bit better. And what we found is their scores and their performance have gotten a whole lot better. The hour-long program has players going through different activities with and without basketballs. The variety of drills help with their depth perception, peripheral vision, spatial awareness, and reaction time. For starters, it'll just make your reaction time quicker, and that's one thing that I've noticed personally. So it helps you, you know when we're playing defense and you got to get your hand up and deflect the ball. Now you're just that much quicker, and you know you, it really helps. The strobe is like it's just constantly uh, flickering, so it, get, it makes it really hard. So you really need to focus on like catching the ball and just shooting your shot and focusing on that. And then the uh, prisms is like makes you dizzy. It's kind of like drunk goggles in the sense because like you don't really know where you're at, and it's just like you look up and you look down, and you're like, wow, I'm about to fall over. Sometimes we put both both the 
strobes and the prisms on at the same time. It's very difficult, and I think a lot of us, we've, we've kind of grown accustomed to the difficulties of both the prisms and the strobes, but nevertheless, they definitely bring a challenge to our eyes, but they work our eyes out, and, and honestly, it really helps our shooting percentages. Any sport that you, that you play, you need good balance, and a lot of that is with your eyes, and we train our eyes along with our body to balance ourselves in order to not only just shoot, but, but play the game of basketball effectively. The main benefit for us is, is being out here as a team. Doing this together, we create some team camaraderie. We're still on our feet, but not necessarily body-on-body -body contact, but it's a, good, it's a good way for us to get some shots up in a different way. In Allentown, Dave Lasko, 69 Sports.